a lot of the credit unions have not elevated their governance framework. And a lot of the issues which we see in the past that has troubled credit unions has boiled down to governance, weak governance systems within the credit unions. For the past, maybe even longer than seven years, we have been trying to uh, bring about a new credit union act. Um, we have been unsuccessful in doing so, and I don't want to go over the reasons why we have been unsuccessful. But come December this year, the central bank, the registrar will have a draft of a new credit union act, which will then, um, which we will then seek support from the Belize Credit Union League for uh, its implementation, the repeal of the previous credit union act, and then the implementation of this new one. It begins with the tools granted to the registrar under the credit union act. The current credit union act is dated. And so we want to uh, bring about the global standard now for credit union operations. And we can only do so if we amend, if we repeal the current act and implement, institute a new modern credit union act. So it starts there. And of course, the central bank is, is, is increasing its staff complement to um, heighten its overall vigilance and surveillance of the domestic banking system. So... We expect a new credit union act that will give us the teeth to then uh, do more, not only on the credit union side, um, but also we have looked at money lenders and we're also doing different things with the commercial banks to, to increase or heighten or improve the standard across all financial institutions licensed under the central bank.